be the only being you need in your life right now. So we're going to discuss the family Chantel. This is season 2, episode 9. Sometimes people are snakes. So, we're going to start with um, Nicole, Lydia, and Alejandro. I'm starting with them because they kind of set the mood. You know what I mean? We left them where um, last week, um, Nicole told Lydia, mommy, that Alejandro is still married. So here's mommy's response, y'all. So Lydia found out he was married, right? Lydia was like, oh. <laughs> Lydia said, he's trying to cheat her. Um, she knew he was a liar. Um, she knew it. See, mothers have six cents. There was something about him that women have six cents. So she was like, oh, so you're gonna, so you have a wife and, and she, and Nicole, you can't take him away from his family. And Nicole's like, he doesn't have any kids. They're married and he's planning to get a divorce. Look, Nicole, I know that your mother might be crazy and a bit annoying and she might have a little you know flashback <laughs> see alejandro gave her a flashback to when she was younger and she got played <laughs> played like <Lundfield. laughs> because she knows what some people are capable of so she's trying to protect you you know she's trying to protect her hija you know, or hija, because she doesn't want anything to happen to her girl. So I understand Lydia's apprehension with Alejandro. I mean, sir, if you wanted Nicole so bad, you should have gotten divorced first. You know, let her know you're married, but you're going to get a divorce. Divorce your wife first, then pursue Nicole. And then Lydia wouldn't have to run after you with her purse <laughs> to try and knock you out. I never see a man run so quick. <laughs> Alejandro, Lydia with her purse. <laughs> Alejandro's like, let me talk to you. I just want to talk to you. They like, I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> and Nicole's in the background. When when Lydia grabbed Nicole and dragged her to her and be like, you come to me. You don't stay with him. You make up your mind what you're doing. And she's like, mommy, I love She's like, I don't want to hear that. I was like, damn. <laughs> my parents never did that to me but i got ptsd i got flashbacks when i was a kid i don't want to hear it okay <laughs> with my grandma i don't want to hear it okay grandma <laughs> oh god lydia lydia was a mood <laughs> i loved it Damaged. I loved it. <laughs> Lydia left before they could even talk anymore. But Nicole went to see her mother and she was like, you know what? Um, I understand what you're saying because Lydia was like, she was cooking at the same time. See, I like that mother. She was cooking. If it was me, Nicole, I'm staying for dinner. I'm not leaving dinner. But Lydia was like, you know what? You know what happened? You, you. We're grown enough to remember what happened with your father and I. And he basically abandoned his kids to go back to his wife after not telling Lydia that he was married. You see, I, I, I tell you, some men just don't know how to keep things in them pants. Like, you don't know how to keep your stuff in your pants, my youth. You couldn't just, you know, wrap it up a little bit. It couldn't have been that good. But anyway... So she's like, I don't want the same thing to happen to you. He leads you on, leads you on, leads you on. And then he goes back to his wife. And I understand what Lydia's talking about. Because, like I said, the man is in the States. He just wants his TV time. And I was right. So the costumes were for Carnival. I guess they celebrate Carnival different in the Dominican Republic. Because everywhere else that I know, when we saw... I mean, granted, Carnival, I mean... 
anybody else that celebrates carnival, I guess. Because Brazilian carnival is different from Trinidad carnival. And Trinidad carnival is similar to Jamaican. Trinidad carnival and in the Caribbean, it, it's the same. So I found it strange when they say that that was their carnival. And it's them like full suits and stuff. Like, you want to see um, a, ja a Jamaican carnival? Trust me, if you want to see a good carnival, go to the Caribbean. I mean, I'm not saying don't try Dominican Republic. Because she said it goes on for a whole month. So I don't know if that's part of it. Because ours, we got costumes. And we have people where they're dressed all in white. And then we just pelt each other with paint. That is fun. Like, can you imagine? We just listen to music, dancing, and just this paint. And you just, by the time you leave, you don't wear your good stuff. You just wear something comfortable because by the time you leave, you're covered in paint. <laughs> I love it. I haven't been able to go, but one day I'm going home. I'm going home. I am going to have a carnival, bacchanal, bacchanal. I don't know why I'm trying to sweet it up. Bacchanal. The one bacchanal. Bacchanal I'm going to get. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> that's my backstory. But... Their carnival is interesting. They dress up in suits and scary masks. For us, that's different. We call that John Canoe or John Canoe. People dress up in scary masks. They dance, play music, crazy, crazy. That's, I don't think they do that very much now, but they used to when I was at least a kid. But yeah. And um, apparently Lydia didn't go to carnival and it's a tradition. And that's how hurt she was. Can you imagine? Like you always go and celebrate things with your parent and then they don't go with you because they're that disappointed. Wow. She was mad. And then of course Alejandro goes and he says he's going to propose to Nicole. I'm like, way to go Alejandro. But Chi Chi. You're still married. How can you be giving her a ring and you're still married? Okay, sir. Whatever. Now we're going back to the Philippines. <laughs> so we went back to the Philippines now. So we're seeing La Familia Chantel. I mean, for this episode, Puddles Quiet, I mean River. And I mean, he talks a little bit more, and Thomas talks a little bit more too. And I, because I was the last couple episodes, I'm like, sir, the disrespect is going on, and you're not saying nothing, nothing, nothing. I forgot to mention that last week. He said nothing. I was like, okay, uh, that's weird. Okay, but he thought this episode, and I'm not gonna lie. I was disappointed in the family Chantel. And here's why. You wait. Granted, you don't know the place. But you guys could have taken and Jeanette and her mother. One away. That's a Jamaican in me. Take her aside. Take them aside before the party. So arrive before the party, you know, make it look like you're socializing, helping out. Arrive before the party or even in the daytime and confront the mom if it hurts you so much about the Facebook. But you don't wait until everybody's dressed up. And Jeanette has her makeup well done because she got people coming and help her with her makeup. So, I mean, she was serious about this. You guys saw them earlier in the day. You should have said something to them. Be like, you know what? I'm still not comfortable with what happened. Nicely. Pedro is right. You guys must not like weddings. But you're like, I just want to go. I don't like being in the middle. I just want to go celebrate, party, party, have a good time. You guys go. It can't be hurting you that much. You people go. 
to this woman thing. I mean, guys, you all look very nice, by the way. I love Mama Chantel's dress. Karen come through. Karen came in with a cream and it went down and it was modest but sexy at the same time. I mean, Karen, I know you lost weight, girl. You know how I know? Because you just came in like that. You were hourglass, coca bottle shape. Karen was, ooh. I was like, I want to look like that when I'm like, baby. Vivi. <laughs> Chantel looks nice too. Chantel always looks nice. Winter looked good. Like when I tell you that girl don't need to shop in no regular store. That girl was serving. She came in with the brown. It was nice. It was. I don't know if it was brown, goldish, oranges, bronze, bronzes. But it looked good. My girl, you look nice. I thought it looked good too, but I'm sorry. She was right. They stole her thunder. But it was nice. Um, and I, I didn't appreciate when they went to this event. I mean, I like the little pro um, projection of Royal and Angela. That was nice. The aunt was the little MC. It was nice. But when they came through, she was like, oh, it's like a spectation. Like, they were, they're just coming to watch the Americans. It's not about you. Ugh. It wasn't about you guys. Like, you see, you can't go to another culture and just sit back and enjoy the experience. Enjoy the experience. It's for Antoinette and Royal. So therefore, if they're going to sit down in a crowd while they're up on the pedestal and they're talking about them and they share their first dance like it's a reception, it's kind of like a reception. It's the same crap you do at a reception. You sit down in the crowd and watch the bride and groom. So everybody's watching you. That's what we do in a reception. So yes, your spectators, deal with it. It's not about you guys. One thing I didn't appreciate was when they took the mother and said, you know the woman don't speak English. You know she don't speak English. Hi, how are you, Karen? That's her. How are you? Poor little Ant Ant Antoinette. Antoinette? I should know this. My cousin's name is Antoinette. How are you? And she's like, fine. It's a pretty party. The poor lady can't only un understand what you're saying, but she was sweet. You guys can't think that everything's diabolical. Come on now. The poor lady. Angela, Angela was quick. Angela, I, you see, this is why I like Angela. Angela is like, uh-uh, no, I might watch not today. I was going to say Satan, but they're my people, so I can't call them Satan. Who cares? Not today, Satan. <laughs> so... She went, she ran quick to them. And she was like, I'll, I'll translate. She started translating for the mother. They ask if the mother has a Facebook. The mother says yes. Uh, they ask who's handling the Facebook. The mother, Antoinette, asked the mother. The mother said her. And they say somebody's talking to the father. The uncle, I mean. On Facebook. Oh, family members. And they don't like... I mean, your uncle ain't got nothing anyway. So even if they talk to the uncle, he can't give them... I mean, you guys don't know how to do this? Okay, let me tell you how you do this. You get contacted on Facebook. Leave it on red. Number one. If you want to entertain them and have a little fun, you talk to them. Hey, how are you? Oh, you look so nice. You, you look nice. I'm like, thank you. You leave that red. That's the second one. Third one. They start talking to you, getting to know you. Then when they ask for money, I don't have any money. Game's over. If she had asked for money, then you would have something to say like, aha, she asked my uncle for money. She just contacted your uncle if she did. Okay. I don't believe that she did because the poor woman looked confused. Then you ruin it by making the poor girl cry. Telling her mother that somebody's using her account and she needs a better password. And like, oh, and then I guess this is where sometimes people are snakes comes in. When um, Karen said, sometimes people are snakes. 
but you guys were bombarding this poor woman, this poor mother, on her daughter's day, one of her daughter's days, because there are two of them. And then on top of it, you ruined this girl's day by sending accusations her way. And she has to tell her mother that you guys think it's her. And she was right to send you guys away. You guys said, I don't know why we got sent away. It wasn't our fault. We didn't do anything wrong. If anything, we deserve an apology. Who insulted you? Nobody. So everybody had to leave because of your poor behavior. One bad ha apple ruins the whole thing for the whole bunch. What's wrong with you people? Jeez. You think you know better. Aren't you supposed to be the civilized Americans? Pete being the guardsman for the Americas. Nobody asked you. If Royal gets hurt, Royal gets hurt. And at the end of the day, you say you love him? Okay, comfort him when Angela hurts him then. If she leaves his ass, it's not because of him, it's because of you people. You! Because you're ruining this. This poor girl goes back and crying to her family member. The aunt is like, what's wrong? She's like, oh, this, this shame that I did this and I did that. I'm talking to all the men. Okay, she was talking to all the men. She wasn't with Royal. And if um, so what if they were American? So what? A lot of them find Filipino women, Filipino women attractive. They like the petite. They probably can't come and bother you, American woman, because some of you... You know what? Some of you are a cheeseburger away. And I shouldn't say that. Because I got fat people in my family. I got fat jeans. If anything, by the time I'm 50, I might look like a house. I mean, hopefully I don't. <coughs> but you never know. So maybe um they're not looking in my direction. Because maybe they think I'm a little bit too... So maybe that's why Royal... Well, I mean, he said he wasn't looking for anybody. But he found her. But he found her attractive. So what? She was talking to American men that found her attractive. Maybe you should find the guys that her contacting. And Jeanette, maybe she didn't contact anybody. Maybe she popped up in the people you may like. And then she talked to them. And it her fault. They found her attractive. Are you guys jealous? You don't want some competition, Chantel? Because Winter says it sometimes like, you're full of yourself. Full of yourself. Full of ya. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it was it was sad. And the aunt was right. Like, she was like, when a bride cries on her special day, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. You can't have this woman going into the rest of her married life on a bad note. You guys can't wait. All this verbal abuse and this and for what? They're already married. They're just doing this to appease her family. They're already married. At the end of the day, she got Royal's ring. It says she's the wife, okay? You're talking about you should stay here. And Royal may stay there. And then what? Because the American money is stronger in the Philippines. So if he stays there, he living like a king. And if he studies to be a doctor, he'll be making lots of money. So maybe Royal will stay there. And then what, Karen? And then what? You guys talking about, oh, we deserve an apology. This is our fault. Your son had to make you leave. How embarrassing is that? I feel bad for him and it isn't my family. You people are loca. Or is it loco? No coconut. Crazy people. And and, and poor <laughs> I feel sorry for Thomas because he was just like, Well, what, what's going on? And like Pedro Thomas, River, Winter. Everybody was like, What what's going on? And you guys are lying to them saying that oh you said that she needed to change her password. You deserve the apology, not them. Okay, don't go to the wedding then. Talking about Oh, uh, if they think we're going to get, they're going to get an apology. Well, I'll just pretend to send it on Facebook and then change my name and send it again. And they think they, they got apologized twice by different people. Eh? 
No wonder you guys are so immature. Karen. No wonder why Chantal is so crazy. And if Petro leaves, Petro is right. Is it you guys just don't like weddings? Is that it? Weddings are supposed to be happy, fun, amazing. You guys just ruined it. You should be ashamed of yourselves. But I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I'm cursing you out, but I liked it. I was sad, but I liked it. Bravo. What a ruining your son's happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. It wasn't so happy, though. Oh, my God, I was sad. Poor girl. Poor, poor girl. I feel so sorry for her. Angela, chin up, baby. Chin up. You know? Show us your muscles. <laughs> my girl's sad. They have to leave. I, I don't want them here. They have to leave. <laughs> and they had to leave. That's how you handle it. Sometimes it's sad when you have to choose between your family and your woman. But your family make you choose. Don't make the poor man choose. He loves you guys. That's why you were invited in the first place. He could have left. Came back. You know how many people do that? Leave, come back, and tell you that they got married. And you're like, dang. And you didn't tell us? You didn't invite us? Anybody if you're crazy people. And that's what you go and do. A shame but anyway guys that was the family Chantel see season two episode nine sometimes people are snakes <laughs> well anyway guys see you soon bye I don't even know if I should do the 90 day fiance it came in before but I might do it tomorrow because it don't look fun so far we have crazy Natalie and Mike, poor Mike, Billy being an aliens. We got Yara and this other dude. We got Julia and this other guy. Ah. Oh, Rebecca is the end. I love you, Rebecca. I love you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I gotta go. You girl got a job after this. Bye. Enjoy your day. <laughs>